Now tell me, who wouldn't love to hear God say to them, wisdom and knowledge are granted to you, and I'll also give you riches, possessions, and honor. That's exactly what God tells Solomon just as he begins his reign as king in 2 Chronicles chapter 1, verse 12. I mean, those are just incredible blessings, and lots of people crave for stuff like that in their life all the time, but the fact is, we don't always get it. So what's the secret? How do we get those types of blessings? What did Solomon do to deserve any of that stuff? And the answer is nothing. We can't just expect these promises from God, these blessings from God, just because we're in a good relationship with Him or just because we impress Him with how spiritual we are. You know, there's a lot of false teaching out there. There's this name it, claim it, or this health, wealth, prosperity type gospel preaching where they say that if you're good enough, that if you do enough service, if your faith is strong enough, and if you just ask for it, God will just give you whatever you desire, like riches and possessions and honor, all those types of things. Well, that's absolutely false. Try telling that to Job. Try telling that to any of the disciples who all suffered at the hands of prosecution. Try telling that to Jesus himself who died at the hands of sinners even though he was completely sinless. See, we don't go to God to get a bunch of stuff. We go to God because we need him. And when we go to God, that relationship we have, that's the blessing. Everything else comes if God desires to give it to us. We're told to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We're told that he will give us all that we need according to his riches in Christ Jesus. So if we have all that we need, we don't need to keep on continually ask for other stuff. God will give you what you need for the task at hand. Instead of always searching for a blessing, be a blessing to others and share the good news of Jesus Christ with others so they may have a relationship with God too. And that's today's Bible Munch. If you're hungry for more, don't forget to subscribe and use the bottom section below as a comment section to write down your reflections on today's passage. Well, that's it for me. It's time for you to open up God's Word and get munchy.